Good evening. And good evening to you. She's almost asleep. Think you can put her upstairs? Wow. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You look pretty good yourself. <laughs> you know, we don't have to be there till seven. How about something to drink? Sure. So do we. Well, I uh, followed up on that conversation we had with Bobby. And I talked to some people over the Justice Department. And uh, the charges are coming in and they're going to bury the Ewings. Yes, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Sarah is guilty. And Bobby? I don't know. I mean, legally, I guess so. Morally, I don't think so. Why are you telling me all this? I mean, sooner or later, it's going to come up before a court and justice will be served. Justice can be served in a number of ways. And despite the mounting evidence, not everyone's out for blood. I don't know what you mean. Well, I do have certain influence. And I might be able to talk to some people and suggest that justice might better be served by working something out. No guarantees. But there are reasonable voices on both sides. This doesn't have anything to do with me anymore. I think it does. I can't tell you what to do. Well, you can tell me how you feel. <laughs> Honestly? Honestly. Well, I think a thousand years behind bars would be just great for J.R. Ewing. <laughs> I don't want to see the family hurt. Can you understand that? Of course I can. You wouldn't be the woman I fell in love with if I couldn't. I think I'm very fortunate to have you and her darling. 